Welcome to this B-clip about time zones in SAP Business One 8.8. My name is Benno Eberle and I'm part of the Rollout Services team. In the next three minutes I want to show you how do you can set up the time zone feature and I want to tell you what are the benefits and restrictions of the new time zone feature in SAP Business One 8.8. First, I want to talk a little bit about the background of time settings in SAP Business One. The client of SAP Business One always uses the time from the server to, to record transactions. So it's this time at the bottom, in the middle of the bottom here, you can see here it's not the Windows time you can see on the bottom right corner. It's always the Business One time inherited from the Business One server. This is very important because if you have a wrong time adjustment on the different clients then the transactions would be bad and that this cannot occur we are using all for all the clients the same time from the server. And this works um, absolutely fine for installations uh, for one company which is located in the uh, same time zone um, but there is a restriction if you're working in a global environment. So if you want to use Business One in a global environment, then you have some advantages with the version 8.8. .8. Uh, in this scenario, you can see on the headquarter we have the server, and we have different locations here in different time zones, which are with own company databases. And what we want to do is now that we will set a time zone difference between the headquarter and the different locations of the company. So you can set up with 8.8 now a time zone for each company uh, you have saved on your database server. So you can, you can have different company databases on one server which are located in different time zones. And now I want to show you how you can make this happen with 8.8. .8. First of all, make sure that nobody is currently logged on on this company database and then log on as a super user. And then you can see, if you go to general settings, that you can see here uh, on the display tab a new checkbox called Manage Company Time. And if you check this checkbox, then a new tab folder Time Zone occurs. If you click on this Time Zone uh, tab folder, then this um, occurs here. On the left side, you can see the server time and the t server time zone. And on the right side, you can adjust the time zone for this company you're currently logged on. And as well, you can choose if this company is in daylight saving time or not. And as a result, you can see here the company time. And this time is valid for all the users which will log on to this company database. The benefits are clear. The, the the clients will record the new transactions based on this uh, company time setting and not anymore on the pure server time setting and um, it's important to know that these settings are effective for all the users logged on to this company database and it makes f sense that all the different clients are of one company are in the same time zone. Yes, uh, additionally, an, a note about this feature with the number 1404267. You can uh, look in this note for more information. Let's have a very short look in SAP Business One. So we log on as a super user now. Go to Administration, System Initialization, General Settings. Then we click on the Display tab. And you can see here the new checkbox Manage Company Time and the new tab folder Time Zone. And here you can see the time zone of the server and the server time. And on the right side you can adjust here the time zone for the client here, for the company you're currently logged on. And as a result you can see the company time which is valid then for all the users which will log on to this company. With that we are done and I want to thank you for joining and wish you a great day. Bye bye.